What's up, guys, and welcome back to F1 2020. We're back, baby, and uh, man, it's the final leg of the season. We have one third of this season left, seven races to go, and uh, still a lot of work to do. So, hopefully, you guys are excited. Today, we've got the Singapore Grand Prix, but before that, we've got a lot that we need to take care of. So one of the major things is our vehicle. We have some parts that we need to swap out here. So since we are in the final third of the season, we are gonna be able to change things out. So we are gonna go with our third internal combustion engine. We are gonna go with the third MGUK, the third MGUH, and the third turbo. Hopefully, all these parts and pieces are gonna work well together, and uh, I guess we're gonna have essentially a brand new car here, which is, is kind of exciting. Now, what, when we go back to our, our timeline for this week, we've actually got nine days of free time to be able to use, so let's see what this is all about. Race Simulations is gonna work on our second driver. You guys know we kind of plan on replacing him at some point, so we're gonna lay off that. Weight Training is again on him. F1 Esports event is gonna get us personal acclaim, which we don't really care about. Uh, sponsor headquarters gonna get team acclaim, chassis equipment upgrade, and then aero focus. I'm thinking we're gonna go, we're gonna go with those, those right there. Next up, we've got our facilities here, and uh, you guys can see we've got 4.2 million dollars, so we could get a couple of pretty hardy upgrades. However, we aren't gonna do that just yet. So huge shout out to Reese on Twitter. He tweeted me yesterday, and uh, he basically said that. He knows that I was, I was planning on upgrading our driver at the end of the season. Obviously, we've been talking about maybe Lando Norris, maybe Carlos Sainz, or whoever it's going to be. But uh, he said we need to make sure we have as much money as we need for that person at the very end of the season. So when you swap to your second season, you fulfill your major contracts, you get a bunch of bonuses for how you performed throughout the year and stuff like that. So like we'll probably make somewhere in between 20 and $40 million, which is great. That's going to buy us a lot of stuff but you can't use that money to hire your driver. You've gotta hire your driver before you get that money. So if we go over to our corporate here, we take a look at the driver market. I mean, if we're talking about, you know, maybe Carlos Sainz, maybe Esteban, Kvyat, Lance Stroll, whatever else, we're gonna need at least $9 million going into the very end of the season. So we wanna, we wanna make sure we save up our money and uh, and we're, we're going to be all prepared and good to go for when that happens. So big shout out to Reese. I appreciate you, buddy. Now, R&D, we can spend some on R&D here. Let's take a look at our tree, see what we got going on. What's our recommended upgrade? 31% failure chance on that. There's a 31 there. That one's currently in development. I'm not against that. Let's, let's, let's do a standard development. Sounds good to me. It's going to be a, a weight reduction on the monocoque structure. All right. So we're going to go ahead and send that off. And uh, I'm, I'm feeling like that kind of puts us in a pretty good spot. Oh boy, we're gonna have some rain early on too. Oh, that, that is exciting. There is no doubt about that. Mixed conditions throughout the race. Dude, we just can't catch a break, man. My goodness, here at FB2 under the lights, we've got some rain. I'm just gonna try to make the most of it. In this program, we want you to focus on fuel saving technique. Lift and coast through corner entry to save as much as you can while keeping under the minimum lap time. Well, that's not really what you like to see, just murdering your front wing right off the bat, but we're, dude, we're sliding. I don't know that I'm really gonna be able to do any practice out here in this. this is outrageous. So we got to work on fuel savings. We got to stay up above that, uh, up above that delta, but also keep our fuel. Okay, yeah. Um, clean up an aisle three. I remembered correctly that this track is indeed a very tough one. So we'll we'll see how this goes, dude. Even in the the dry FP3 practice, we uh, we still left pieces of our wing all over the place. Like this, this is this is rough. I'm not gonna lie. But we're here in Quali and we're gonna see what we can do. Looks like we're starting off with a P1. We actually had a, a pretty solid first little stint through there. Fell back a little bit. Back into P1 here. Gonna see what this old Mercedes engine can do. Looks like the, the Ferraris kinda pulled off on us a little bit right there, huh? Gained a little bit of ground on the straight. That's interesting. Really starting to drop back now. This is just, it's it's such a technical track and it's so tight. There's so many areas where you can end up just completely eating it. So it makes me want to race a, a wee bit more conservative. This section through here is honestly the the toughest. Not hitting the walls through this bridge. I was I was struggling with that. That's for sure. Got a very slow hairpin turn right there. Got a little bit loose. Got on the gas too early. Coming out of it. We're gonna be all right. Looks like Leclerc and Hamilton are really battling up there. 
for that pole position. I've got a feeling we are not going to be in the running for that, but we're actually doing better than I was expecting, if you want me to be honest. Back here in P8, this is, this is something I can handle. Going underneath the grandstands, dude. That's pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. All right, coming around here. This last corner is kind of fun. You just like stop on the, the brakes and then get back on the gas and just roll it all the way through. Looks like we had dropped all the way back to P10, able to bring it back up to P8. I can't hate. Who would you say is your biggest rival? Ooh, we're going to pick our new rival here. So I'm assuming we lost to uh, to Alex Albon then. It's interesting because they don't really they don't really show you who wins. This is the second time that's happened. I don't know why they're giving us these options either. Sebastian Vettel, Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, Valtteri Bottas. I, I, can I just say no comment? I, I don't think there's a point of having a rival if they're going to be that good, honestly. I'm, I'm going to go no comment. It's been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? Uh, absolutely. Uh, got a great strategy. Should get us plenty of points. I actually don't know about that because we saw how I performed well, on the enters. Nice anyway. Maybe it was a little bit too too wet to go with inters. Maybe we should have been on full wets in that, that second practice, but that was, dude, that was rough. So we are going to have a rival right now. Like, there was no way we were going to compete with any of those people. So I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep my mouth shut and not talk any trash. Here we go then. It's Formula One in Marina Bay once again. And welcome to all of you at home who join us today for this fascinating race around the baking hot, horribly humid, but very beautiful streets of Singapore. We have Bakingly a hot, horribly humid. Today, as the abundance of tight corners mixed with these wet conditions could put a few cars off into the barriers. Yeah. 23 turns then, 13 to the left and 10 to the right, make up the 3.1 mile lap of Marina Bay. A few cars have already been into those barriers, sir. There's no doubt about that. We are going to see some more of that today. I'm hoping we can keep this thing in one piece. We know that the, the very first part of the race is going to be wet and then it's going to move into a dry segment towards the end. I guess we'll see what happens. How many uh, how many laps are we working with here? We've got 15 laps, and it looks like we're going to be starting on the softs, even though it's raining. That does not sound like a very good idea, but I guess I'm down for it. Honestly, I I mean extra fuel. I feel like there aren't a lot of overtaking opportunities here, so I don't know how much more extra fuel we're going to need. But I don't think we're going to need two extra uh, laps. I'm going to say let's 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 go with a lap and a half of extra fuel looks uh, looks pretty good. So we're just gonna go with this default strategy here. I mean, we could potentially try to change it up. Ooh. If we get off the softs earlier, it's actually gonna reduce our race pace by a second, 1.1 seconds. Is that something that we wanna do? I mean, why not? I, I would think that being on the softs for longer would be better for us. But it's saying that it's going to take a second off, so I'm, I'm down for it. I really don't understand why everybody's on the on the slicks here, but this is going to be interesting. Overtake mode with the rich mix. Let's get after it. Let's let's see what we can do. Whew. Okay. Had a decent start there. Got to be careful. Don't want to run into anybody. We got somebody on our left, it looks like. Nope, he's behind us, but we went way too wide around that. All right. And behind Lancey Pants back here. Let's try to go around him. I got that overtake mode. We're going to break a little bit late. We're going to try to get him on the inside here. Ooh, okay, overtake mode. Rich mix. Let's see how that racing point does. Oof. He did actually, actually get around us there. Let's see if we can go around him. Actually, a, a fairly good overtake right there. Okay. We are back up in the mix with all these fools. Dude, this is, it, I just, I, I realize that as tires get up to, get up to their, their operating temp and they get heated and they get a little bit softer, get a little bit more malleable, they start to stick to the track surface and stuff. And I mean, it's not raining super hard, but I just feel like it's a little aggressive. I, I feel like the Inters would have been a great, a great tire choice for this. I don't even think we had them available to us. I think the whole field, just, you know, kind of stuck with, with whatever they had out of the, the practice and then we're all on these softs. It, it, it's, this is just a mess. I just feel like we have to be so ginger around some of these corners, you know what I mean? Like you really got to get on the throttle lightly, otherwise you're going to end up kicking that thing out and spinning out. I think we could have had a, a much better 
a much better time on the, the enters to start things off. Okay, that was that was a wall back there. Not exactly how we like to perform here, Trev, but we're fine. Is there any damage? I would imagine Jeff would let us know if there was damage, so I guess we're I guess we're gonna be fine. We can try to take a look here. Looks like our right front on the the wing is a little bit damaged. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, we, we gotta focus up, Trev. We gotta we gotta stop messing with menus. You already struggle with the menus enough in normal day-to-day -day racing, and now we're out here on slicks in the wet, and you're trying to mess with the menus. We can't do that. That's my corner, biatch. Let's go. What's up, Lancey Pants? Get out of here, fam. Passed him on the outside lap number one. Got him on the inside lap number two right there. Now, the problem is, is I don't really want to be back here messing around with the racing points. I would like to be up there messing around with all the top dogs. But for whatever reason, everybody decided that slick tires in the rain was going to be a good idea. Dude, it is so sketchy. I, I just don't understand what the strategy here was. Oh my goodness. Every corner, you just, you gotta very lightly get on the gas. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. I say that in just about every episode. One of these, one of these times it's actually gonna click with me. The curbs make me really nervous because those things get super slick. So if you're going up on those curbs and you have this one tire off the ground that's spinning really hard or whatever, that will kick you out and you'll spin out like, like nobody's business. So you gotta be, you gotta be very careful about that. Looks like we're causing a, a bit of a traffic jam here, but I ain't, I ain't mad at it, baby. Whatever. DRS I'm good. Enable this lamp. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Well, I don't think your boy is getting any DRS, but uh, we'll, we'll see if, if old Lancey Pants can make use of it back there. This upcoming corner right here would actually be the one that he would get the most use out of it from. See, I, I really I wanted to push it a little bit extra to be able to get that extra speed so he couldn't get us with the DRS, but it just didn't work out for us. Looks like he didn't get us anyway. We're good. Every corner is like that. Every, every corner I'm, I'm having to turn the wheel the opposite way. That was a little bit smoother, but we still kind of had to do it. Watch out for those walls, Trev. Oh my goodness, dude, I'm trying so hard and it's just not working out. To be honest, I always race way better when I've got something to, something to chase anyway. I mean, obviously I'd, I'd rather be in a higher position, but it's kind of fun to have somebody in front of you to try to try to catch up to. Dude, I, I just, I, I, I need it to stop raining. I, I don't, man, they always say that like driving in the rain, that is really a true test. Uh, of a driver's skill. Uh, we're, we're really seeing why these guys are, are F1 drivers out here compared to your boy. You just, it's, it's such a fine line of like maximizing your speed and staying in control versus like you, you go, you go a pinky toe over that threshold and you're, you're spinning out and, and, you know, paying the price for it. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. In this lap, in this lap. We got boys going around us, or at least trying to. This is our in lap here, so I'm gonna try to make it a good one if we can. Ooh, nicely done. All right, smooth onto the throttle there. Okay, rich mix, overtake mode. Looking pretty good. He's gonna have that DRS, but it's not gonna be enough. 3.2 seconds. Woo. All right, um, man. Feels bad when Lance Stroll is up there straight dogging on you. 3.2 seconds. This is this is no bueno. I'm I'm excited for it to dry up though. You know we'll we'll see how the uh, we'll see how the the pit stops and everything go. I hope maybe we'll be able to catch him. It's already kind of starting to get a little bit drier. I can feel here. Gonna have a nice nice dry service just in time for some brand new mediums. Break those bad boys in and. Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, I, I can already. This this track is, is coming alive here at this point. I honestly don't even really know where the the, the pit entrance is. Looks like it's going to be off here to the left. Make sure we break. Don't want any. Don't want any 
speed limit issues or anything like that. All right, we're in there. So, whew, kind of a interesting race so far. Looks like I'm going to be the first one in the pits, the only one in the pits on this lap. So we are going to be well far beyond behind everyone, but it's it's going to be all right. We're, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Let's have a nice quick pit stop here. Oh, we're, we're swapping out the wing. Okay. Um, that was maybe not... Maybe not the best case scenario right there, but we're, we're gonna see how it all shakes out. We really gotta, gotta work our way back through the masses. I'm going rich mix. We only have 0.67 extra laps, but that's fine. I'm going rich mix overtake mode. We just gotta try to make up as much time as we can, dude. Miss, losing, losing that wing is gonna cost us. I, to be honest, I don't even know if it was worth changing out. I kinda, I, I wasn't expecting that. We probably should've canceled that in the strategy, because I feel like, uh, I don't know. It's so hard to pass on this track. Like, we just gave up 10 free seconds there. We could give up a lot more than 10 seconds and nobody would pass us as long as we can hold the straights. So I think, ooh, almost hit the wall there. We hit the wall there in practice a few times. I think we are going to end up uh, losing a lot more than what we'll gain from changing that. I, 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 don't, I don't think that was a good call, but uh, we just set a... Uh, a track best sector two there, so your boy can race after all, I guess. Just not very good at racing on slicks in the rain, huh? That, that kind of seems seems to be a fairly reasonable thing. Whew. Feeling totally different out here, dude. New tires, fresh track. Going overtake mode a little bit. Let's go through here. Overtake mode, rich mix. And a, a, a track best sector three right there. Who knows? Maybe our early pit. We're going to undercut some people. We'll, we'll see what happens. We just basically have to keep this as, as clean and... and um, the car ahead is coming to fit the mediums. Car ahead, now running medium tires. Clean and, and concise as possible. We're currently back here in P22, which is not where we want to be. Perez is in front of us by a few seconds so that means we're still probably about in the same probably about in the same company as we were before your boy's setting track records all over the place here dude i mean it you know could have something to do with the new tires but look at that we've had a personal best sector one sector two and sector three through there Whew. this track is so much more fun when you can actually race on it, dude. This, I mean, it, it, it's a very tough track, but it's a fun track. And it is way more enjoyable when you're actually racing. I'm trying to use as much as we possibly can of ERS, extra fuel, everything we can to try to get past these guys when, uh, when they're in the pits. Hopefully they, they get jammed up. Considering nobody's been in there yet, I would imagine there's gonna be quite a lot of traffic when they do, so. Maybe slow releases and, and stuff like that. Maybe even some unsafe release penalties would be nice. Ooh, touch the wall right there. Let's see if we can go for a, a three for... Oh, shoot, we've used too much ERS. Gonna go rich mix. Can we go three for three sector bests? Ah, we got our own personal bests. It was the fastest lap of the race. We'll, we'll take it, baby. I'm assuming that Checo up there in front of us probably probably had a little bit quicker than we did. But that's all right. Okay. So we just got to kind of feel this thing out. We got to race this thing out. We got to do our thing. I'm going to see you guys once we get to the in lap for the other guys. And we'll, we'll see how all that shakes out. It's going to be an exciting moment. We're just chilling back here in last place. <laughs> Eight out of 15 laps. I mean, eventually these fools are going to have to pit. At that point, our medians are, are going to be fairly well worn. But again, like I said, I mean, it's it's so tough to pass on this track. I, I really, I don't know if people are, are going to be able to get that far around us. If we can do well leading up to that, then we're just going to be able to, you know, kind of be a bit of a stoplight. Be like, hey, yo, no passing zone here. So I'm going to try to build up some of our ERS in the meantime. You guys did see we've got about 0.28 laps of extra fuel left. So I'm... I'm Gonna burn that down to the, the ends as much as we can. We wanna try to use as much as possible, but also wanna make sure we don't use too much and can actually end up making it all the way across that finish line. But for now, just kinda continuing to settle in and, and do our thing here. 
Not gonna lie, it's kind of boring out here by yourself, dude. I'm just, I mean... We've gained a little on, on Checo up there, lose a little bit on him. Honestly, he's he's going a little bit faster than us. Um, it, it, it's just, it's it's a tough track. There's there's no doubt about that. I mean, obviously, I don't have the rain to complain about at this point, but it is it is a tough track. Looks like we've got a couple guys in the pits here, so we are no longer in last place. Going to be able to get around Russell and Gasly there, so that's, that's kind of a good thing. Uh, we're about five seconds behind Sergio. I think... Weren't we, I think we were three and a half, so we've lost, lost a second and a half to him over the course of, you know, four or five laps. The car behind you has just fitted the hard tires. Car behind, running hards. Gasly's on the hards? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, this is also kind of a tough track for, for ERS, dude. I feel like we're not regenning it as quickly as I would like. I, I went quite a few laps without using it at all. And you guys can see we're, we're still only at 17%. Like, that's that's really not that great. We're even burning off more fuel than we would like. You guys see here, we've got plus 0.07 laps. I've been leaving that in standard, and it, we're just we're, we're burning through the fuel. I mean, that's probably partially on me. I could kind of lift and, and coast in it a bit more if we wanted. I don't really want to run lean yet. The gap to the car ahead is 4.4 seconds. I think the time to run lean is after we get past these guys and they're behind us. So even if we go into negative gas for a little bit, once everybody hits their pit stops, which I'm assuming is gonna happen in the next couple of laps, then we can turn it back in some of these corners where we know they're not gonna pass us and start to go a little bit more, uh, a little bit more fuel economy mode. Teammates in the pits right now. Nick is in the pits. Nick in the pits. So we want to try to use everything we have here. I'm going rich mix. I'm going overtake mode. We're going to be negative laps. Let's see what we can do here. Really want to try to have the best positioning possible. We're up at a P13, dude. Granted, I don't think everybody has pit yet. I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll find out. How are we looking on gas? We got 0.01 laps. All right. We're just going to have to work with this. This has been an interesting race. There is no doubt about that. Yellow flag. Uh-oh. What happened up here? It was in this sector in front of us, too. It looks like nothing nothing popped up. I feel like we had a pretty good sector back there. Oh, nope. They are out of the race. Nicely done. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. Okay, got it. Safety car is deployed. So that's going to give us an extra position. We're up at a P12 here. Gotta be careful about this delta. I hate try to stay on the deltas like this. Oh, oh, oh. We're ending. There we go. Okay, we're we're back out there. I had put us on on light fuel mix there through that, so that was probably kind of a smart move. Not gonna lie, we're able to build up a bit of VRS. Man, it must have taken them a while to uh, to get the tractors out to get Max's car out of there. But um, yeah, man, the, the game of trying to keep the positive delta, dude, it, it, it <laughs> it's so stressful. You want to keep that as close to zero as possible, but if you go 0.001 seconds over, I'm pretty sure they give you a, a drive-through penalty in the pits, which is obviously a, uh, a pretty significant penalty. That's like, what, 20 seconds or so? Maybe a little bit less, maybe like 15, but still, not a fun time, that's for sure. So we've got, uh, we've got an extra 0.6 laps of fuel. We've got some ERS saved up. We're here in 12. I'm assuming most everyone has done their pit stop. Oh, no, we got we got more guys in the pits. You're losing two seconds a lap to the car behind. Two seconds. Two seconds a lap. That's not good. All right, we, we got to get on our ERS our ERS work here. Dude, we're, we're up in a P9. We actually might be all right. We got two to go. Really, we just need to save Rich Mix and... Oh... We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Use 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 ERS here, dude. You just blow through the ERS. And the, is is it because it's so humid? Does the battery have to work harder or something like that? I'm honestly not even sure. Holy cow! Ooh, just focus on what's in front of you, Trev. If we could finish in the points here, after the start that we had and everything, oh my goodness, that would be amazing. And the 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 wing change that we had, like, obviously this was. This was a bit of a rough race for us, but it, it looks like we might be able to hold out. As long as, like the, the passing areas, so that front straight and then that middle straight, the really long middle straight, as long as we can hold out in those. I, the problem is I don't think we're gonna be able to switch to rich, rich fuel 
So with DRS, they may end up getting around us. We just just focus on your race trap. Don't don't even worry about them. Just do your thing, man. You're gonna be fine. Probably not, but think positive, happy thoughts. Our gap to the car in front is 6.5 seconds. Definitely not gonna catch him on 6.5 seconds. I'm moving to lean fuel mixture here. We don't really have a choice otherwise. We're gonna have to go up to standard with ERS in the straights. So we're gonna go standard here. With ERS overtake mode. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's gonna break late, Trev. Fight him around the outside. Woo! We got him. Okay. We're back at a lean mix. Now this is where you can kind of back them off a little bit. Like you, you can really slow down and, and kind of force them to, to race your race. Now you can't. Yes, you can. I'm, I'm stressed, dude. Obviously they're not gonna pass you through here. So we're ERS off, everything off. Just kind of do your thing. We want as good of an entry as possible out of this corner right here. And we're gonna have to go ERS overtake mode with the, the standard mix. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Okay, we're gonna go back down to, to the low mix here because they aren't gonna be able to pass through here. We're gonna have an extra 0.7 laps of fuel. We should have had more fuel in our tank. It's just like our, our rough start, we were using so much of our fuel in rich mix, trying to uh, you know have a good outlap and try to catch up to everyone. Obviously that ended up kind of biting us in the butt a this little bit. Race gap to teammate behind is 8.0 seconds. Whew. Just make him stay behind you, Trev. You've got one more hard defensive section up ahead of you here. You need as good of a good of a release through here as you possibly can get. I'm going rich mix as well. All the way up to rich. We've built up an extra 0.15 laps here. Make him go around the outside. Woo! We did it, baby! Okay. Hang in there, Trev. All right, down down to, to the light mix here. We do have a little bit of ERS and, and standard that we can use here. So I'm going to go up to standard with ERS. All right. Delete it. Drop it off. Back down through here with the low, the light mixture. Dude, we ended up actually having to really fight for this one. This might be my, my favorite episode. Yeah, I'm gonna go back up to Rich Mix here. We're just gonna dust these dudes. Not gonna even give them the chance. Back down through here. Seriously though, I mean like this, this, was, this was our most hard fought race that we've had. And it was for a P freaking nine, dude. But a P nine is good, it's in the points. Oh, look at all those fireworks, dude. That is sick. Gotta be very careful. He might try to get aggressive here at the end and try to make some sort of a move. I'm gonna move us back up to the, the standard mix. Just keep it, keep it chill, Trev. Keep it chill, Trev. Brake, round the corner, gas, overtake mode. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the overtake mode. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Whew. That was a hard fought race. That was a hard fought race. The fact that we finished in the points makes me happy. I don't care about anything else. From crashing in practice to P9, that's what I'm talking about. So Lewis, Valtteri, Charles, we're gonna be the top three here. We were sandwiched between Sergio Perez and uh, Pierre Gasly. Signs was back behind that. Kind of an inch, like we, we've got some big names in the back here. Lance Stroll had a pretty good race. Um, you know, kind of an, an interesting outcome. Obviously, Max is the only one that did not finish. Uh, Latifi in last, George Russell behind him, and Nick DeVries. DeVries? De, DeVries? There's a couple different ways you could say it. Um, he got P19, which is not his best day, but it was a challenging day. I don't, I don't hold that against him. That was a very, very challenging race. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Drop a like if you're uh, if you're excited for more. Looks like we hit all three of our sponsor requirements there, so that always feels good. And so, uh, we are going to be moving on to round 17 tomorrow.